What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister Channel 1 is back, and we have got more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag 100% synchronization walkthrough. We are in a new location, and instead of just uh, showing you exactly what this new location is, I've actually decided to go ahead and show you a little bit about this new location that we're at. I don't even know really the name of it just yet. But we need to get to the viewpoint first, and then we can actually start this uh, mission up. Come on, bring it on. Nice. This is what you get if you try to beat the crap out of me, huh? This is my town. Or this is my island. Alright, so it looks like that it actually opens up games. This, I think, was actually in the, uh... In one of the demos that we saw. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead in here and, uh... Synchronize. Obviously, it's not a very big... Kind of island. I do believe this is the only uh, viewpoint for this place. Andreas Island. Alright, I think we're ready to do this. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Oh, that's cool. We got a little stalking grounds here. Maybe we're going to be doing something in the mission up ahead, I guess. I'm seeing this thing. It looks like maybe it's a whale thing, or Stop what is moment. it? I can help you fade away. Fade away? Oh, it's the bribing guy. Okay. So whenever you have uh, a wanted kind of level. It doesn't look like we have a wanted level right now. At least I don't see it showing up on the screen. All right, I think we're ready to do this. We're going to start the next uh, memory. This is still sequence number three. Sugarcane and its yield. If I am not mistaken, I believe this is sequence three, memory number five. But I could be wrong. Why look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past. Coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. Alright, so we're looking for the bad guy. I don't know why, but that 
kid right there just reminds me of a woman instead of a man. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Of course, we're going to do our part and remain as stealthy as possible. And you can see he actually turns colors too. Oh, what are you? What are you doing? He turned around all of a sudden. It's like, what was that? A guy was there, then he disappeared in the shrub. Are you stupid? <laughs> Come back here. You'll never find me now. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and on, well, boys. We're going home. Oh, crap. We don't have much time to get there, huh? Looks like a good way to go. He'll break his neck. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Alright, here we go. It's really hard to see this ship there. If we're tailing the ship, we don't want to be too far. Alright, restricted area are areas you're not supposed to be in. Obviously, ships will instantly detect an attack if you enter their field of view. Okay. Field of view display on the minimap. Avoid them to not get in conflict. Conflict. Alright, let's check out our secondary objectives here. Right now, we're still just uh, tailing the agent's ship. Hold on, it. I see them. Stay out of combat, all right. Clues down, tank some wind. Get up the crowd on all the sail we have. To larboard, sir. Some wrecked cargo adrift here, sir. All right, trying to stay away from that. We don't want to get too close. So we're slowing down. He's the spanker. Hold down. Loose all and trim shot to the Ooh, just outside of it too. Look how close that is. Call in the stun stones. As much sail as you can. Close down. Man your sheets. Nice. Whatever he did, it worked. Shorten sail! Get off the squall! Throw the mains! Reef those gallons! Loose and trim too! Manual this is kind of like stealth on a ship. Ground on every inch of sail! Stunsels! Let's ride the squall! 
Douse all but names! Douse those golems! Hold! Hold! Stand out! Let's get moving! Lose all! Party life! Douse the gallants and royals! Well, the mizzen tops! Just trying to stay out of the cone. Tops, gallants, royals. I think we're still doing it. All right, as long as the optional objective stays up, that means we're actually doing it. Sweet, we just completed it. Peter Backfoot's people. Do you know them? The Backfoots and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfoots and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a fair price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers that crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of cotton. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is nearly the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Wow, that wind is a killer. Unfold, mates! Let's move! It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. Speed! Very full of it! Get off the wind! Full, full for all your worth! All right, we made it. Okay, where are we going? Ask me why I went this way. Whoa. What's happened here? Why such disarray? Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. Don't bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, for a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You mean like a guy right next to you? You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. Well, there's some type of bell, but we're still eavesdropping, so... No one's looking in this direction right now. Ooh, that was close. That was freaking close. I require entrance to the warehouse. 
Which of you dogs has the key to the way? Let me make sure there's nothing else going on here. Uh oh. Sabotage alarm bells. Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key if you please. All right, so you don't actually have to be stealthy through here to complete the optional objectives. The we only needed to be stealthy through that one part. Find me the key. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to get these two bells. So the first thing you want to do is take out this card. You can go ahead and get this guard's attention as well. As if you want 100%, then you, you have to take out these guards. Alright. Okay, next up is you can get up here. We have one more bell that we need to take care of. This one's a little bit more difficult, and it's actually not that difficult if you don't mind uh, getting into a little bit of a fight or being spotted. But uh, first, I guess we can go ahead and do this. We can set up the actual guy that we need to take out who has the key that we need to get. But first, like I said, we're going to go for the optional objectives. Doesn't matter if anybody sees you really here. As we still have a few more soldiers that we're going to need to take out in order to get these bells. If you want to be stealthy. Like I said, if you don't want to be stealthy, well then you can do this so much easier. All you got to do is just get out there, grab the bell. You're going to get into a fight, but that really does not matter. Because it is not a part of... Um, it will not hinder you at all for your 100%. This guard, however, though, he is kind of a bit of a pain, as this guy can see pretty much everything. We don't have blow, blow darts yet. I know you can have those in the game. So you really just gotta make your way around here. Of course, make sure he's just not looking in your direction. He might see you a little bit, but you should have enough time to make it over. This is a lone guard over here, so go ahead and take him out, as it'll make getting up on this guy a little bit easier, and that's what you want. Alright, let him get your attention a little bit. Hopefully he'll come over this way. You might need to do it a little bit longer. As it would be easier if we actually had a crouch button. But you can run right past guards, and they won't actually hear you, so... is you have to really take out this guy in order to achieve the goal that you want. Alright, now this guard is going to be the trickiest. Once you have him taken out, then you're pretty much good to go. You got one guard down there, but he's patrolling in other routes. So you really don't have to worry about it. As you can see right now, we can get this ship's bell. Nope. Hold on. Somebody's seeing me. He turned around, that bastard. But like I said, you don't have to be stealthy, so this is all optional. This is just me trying to do this without getting into open conflict. Alright, so now we know where the key is, and we actually have a lot of room to get this key. So if we just pretty much wait uh, right here in this area, we're going to be able to get it. Of course, you can kill them if you want. You can just blow that shit up right there. You can see he has a, a, a guard. So the one that you want to go after first is the actual guard. As soon as the guard goes by, make sure you're target on him. And then you're fine. Make sure you're at least still close enough to him so he hears you. And then we're good. Took a few tries for me to really be able to figure out how I can do that. Alright, reach the warehouse to loot the cargo. It's the same warehouse I think we were already actually at. Now, 
Why don't we take this guy out for good measure? Just because it's fun. Ah, actually, we don't need to. No bells rang. 400. See, you get a bonus award for that. So, if you do get into open conflict, then you have the possibility of them being able to ring a bell, which will get you caught. However, if you don't get into open conflict, and you keep it as stealthy as possible, and remember, they can actually see you. As long as it doesn't go into the full red, then you're still good to go. So, don't think, oh, you know, you're not being stealthy enough or whatever, but um, as long as you're doing what I did there, then you're going to be able to do it. And you actually have a lot of chances, really. They can see you for a good maybe three seconds, and as long as you get back down... Uh, within that remaining time or lose the line of sight then you're good to go all right so there you go ladies and gents memory number five sugarcane and its yield um pretty cool mission uh not the best i really did like the stealth part that we had to do um the whole stay out of combat only applies to the sea okay because you can get into con you can get into combat when you're in the sea por portion so as long as you stay clear of their cones, you're going to be good as far as that. Now, of course, the sabotage, the alarm bells, you got to take out guards around the alarm bells because you just don't have enough time to get the alarm bell and then move back out of position before they actually yell alarm. Because the time that, <coughs> excuse me, the time that you're actually doing the alarm uh, is also time that the enemy can see you. And that's just enough to actually get you caught. So hopefully this was able to help you. Um... It took, like I said, it took me a few tries on this last part right here to get. As you can see, when we started, it was a little bit dark. And then uh, when you do the checkpoints, and that's what's great about this game is the checkpoints. So you can, re there's really no reason why you can't go back and be able to get 100% on every single memory. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bitches. Captain has the helm.